I love autumn. I love the changing leaves, the red leaves in particular. Aren't they just so amazing? The leaves are so beautiful. You see that there within the dark ground in the background. And then yet right over here, we've still got a bunch of green leaves, reds, oranges, but it's so beautiful. So the changing seasons, you know, not everywhere around the planet do they have seasons that change this drastically. But the, the beautiful thing about change is that it keeps things fresh, it keeps things new. And so although I've experienced many autumns in my life, I've seen these leaves change several times already. We've been living here in this area for four years now. So I've seen these leaves at this color before, but it's still, right now I look at it and it's just beautiful. And so it's new because I've gone through the summer, I've been through the winter, I've been through the spring, and here we are at autumn again. And so even though I came out and I saw it yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before, the leaves are changing, some are falling, and it's new. And so that's what new days can do for you too. It's a new day. So just because you're in the same place, you're going through the same routines, it's a new day. And that fresh start can remind you that things can change. You're not stuck. And that freshness, that new morning helps you to go, okay, something's new. I can get through this. And it's a beautiful reminder that things change, that seasons change, and that there's a fresh start. So wherever you're at right now in your life, you're not stuck. Wherever you're at right now, it's not the end. And it doesn't have to be a negative thing. You might be in a deep valley, but I'm reading a book right now. It's a Brandon Sanderson book. It's the Dawn Shard. It's book 3.5 in the Stormlight Archives book. And in that, it's in what I was listening to today, today they were talking about bad omens and the ship, uh, the person who was directing the tour uh, and the trip, it was like, okay, we've got to figure out how to spin this because omens are made up. They're just beliefs. They're just stories we tell ourselves. And so people were seeing these omens as bad omens and why they should turn around. And she was able to use her words and her beliefs to help people see a different perspective. And so what they initially thought was a bad omen, she was able to give them a different perspective to help them see that it was actually a lucky omen to encourage them forward. So wherever you're at in your life, you have that choice. You can look at it as unlucky or lucky. It comes down to your perspective. What are you looking for? Are you looking for encouragement? Are you looking for hope? Are you looking for uh, reasons to help you move forward? Or are you looking for something to blame? Are you looking for excuses? Are you looking for a reason to turn around and go back? Right? Get, get down to the intent. Why? And usually if you're wanting to turn around and go backwards, it's because of fear. Fear of something. Fear of not being good enough. Fear of, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. And then you can ask yourself, is that really going to serve you? Or would it serve you most in the long term to face your fears, to move through the discomfort, to grow and to expand yourself in new areas of life because you are a miracle and you have a purpose. This life is worth living. It's worth experiencing life in all the different avenues, recognizing that you can do whatever you set your mind to, whether you believe you can or you can't. Either way, you're right. You are the author of your life. And so at this season, I invite you to act in love to see this new day as a new opportunity, to recognize that you can, to recognize that you're worth it, to recognize that you deserve it, that you are special, and that you are here for a reason. And it's a great reason. You are a light and you make the world a better place. So thank you for being you. Thank you for being here with me today. If today's message was for you, go and like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with those that you feel could benefit from it. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.